How to edit WooCommerce shop page using Elementor for free, quick and easy. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you yet another WordPress tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how you can design and edit your very own shop page on WooCommerce and I'm going to give you the greatest designs and features that there can be provided on the internet and it's going to be amazing. You're not going to be disappointed and the software that we're going to be using is Elementor and obviously Elementor is one of the most famous editing softwares out there when it comes to shop pages and it is a great add-on and plugin on your WooCommerce or WordPress website and I'm just Let's get into all of that right now. I'm gonna explain it to you very full in detail and it's gonna be very simple and easy. So I just want you to watch this video till the end and follow all the instructions. It's gonna be very simple, very easy, and very small, efficient steps. So uh, just sit back and relax. And by the end of this video, hopefully you're gonna know how to edit your shop page using Elementor. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first of all, obviously we're gonna go to our WordPress. And I'm just going to open temp mail because I'm going to properly show you how to sign in. So obviously if you don't know where WordPress is, it's the most popular website builder there is out there. So we're just going to go ahead and click get started. It's going to be on the top right. We're going to get this email from here and we're going to paste it here. You can create any type of username you want to. It doesn't really matter. Then you're going to choose a password. Then you're going to create your account. So then you're just going to wait for it to load up here. It says choose a domain over here. You're obviously going to go ahead and choose a domain. It can be anything. Obviously, let's say I want to choose a domain called website. So we're just going to click on that. We're going to wait for it to load up here are many domains. Obviously, I'm going to go with the free one right now. You can pay for them if you want to. It's totally on you. And here are the plans. If you want to choose a plan, you can. You can go ahead and choose any plan you like. But I'm just going to go with the free site because it's tutorial purposes. And then we're just going to wait for it to load up because now it's going to ask us our goals. You can give them your goals if you want to. I'm just going to skip to dashboard, but I want you to make sure to give your goals because then they optimize your WordPress website according to that. Now, once you're here, this is going to be your basic uh, page for your WordPress or WooCommerce. If you're not familiar with the interface, check out a video I have on that. And in that I've properly explained how you can get familiarized with the WordPress interface. So uh, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go on plugins and over here we're going to write Elementor. All right, the spelling is off. There we go. So we're going to write Elementor and here are the plugins, Elementor website builder and essential add-ons for Elementor. These two are the ones you need to download because this is the basic website builder and this is for the add-ons that you want to add for your Elementor. So you're just going to click on this. And once you click on that, what's going to happen is it's a totally free plugin, but obviously you're going to need to have an upgraded and activated account uh, for WordPress. So yeah, just make sure to do that before you add an Elementor. But if you don't have that, it's totally fine. What you can do is just go just write Elementor. And over here you can see Elementor.com, Elementor number one free WordPress website builder. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to load it up. And over here, you're just going to go and get started. Choose the design you want to start with your website. Now, you can skip and start with a blank website. That is totally on you, and that is totally your choice. But you can choose the design you want to start with your website because they have tons and tons of different templates that you can use. And I will tell you this right now. These templates do not disappoint because they look amazing and they look great. The color grading is great. The features are great. The boxes are made great. It's all amazing. So you're just going to choose any design you like. You can preview them if you like. For example, I like this one, so I'm going to preview it. And you can preview it in all three different views. You can preview it on how it's going to look on desktop. You can preview it how it's going to look on a tablet. Or you can preview it how it's going to look on a mobile phone. So if I like the interlock, I'm just going to go ahead and click on start with this design. Now, obviously, Elementor Cloud website is a uh, USD 99 per year and you can buy it now if you want to. And there are the plugin only plans if you want to get into that. But yeah, uh, you're going to need to be fully logged in and signed up with Elementor for that. So then once you've got the basics of it, from there on out, what you're going to do is you're going to start editing your websites. 
And what's that gonna do is let's say let's choose a free one. We're just gonna go on categories. You can choose from these if you want to, or I can just go skip and start. And you're just gonna click on any one of these. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna take you to this interface login where it's gonna ask you to connect your Elementor to your uh, WordPress. And it's gonna automatically bring you to this page where it's gonna take you to the plugin and it's gonna upgrade and activate. And once you do all that, your Elementor will be successfully connected to your WordPress. And I recommend that you use Elementor to edit your websites because the whole world uses it because it's just that amazing and it's the greatest uh, plugin there is to edit your WordPress websites. Now obviously before that, we're gonna need to make a page for ourselves. Now to make a page, what you're gonna do is you're in the left-hand side, you see pages. You're just gonna go on pages and you're gonna click on add new page. Now, once you click on add new page, what's gonna happen is it's gonna load you up a bit. Now, once it's loaded up, it's gonna give you uh, this interface where it says that you can add a page if you want to, of your choice. Now, you can start with a blank page, obviously. I'd recommend this if you're using Elementor because if you use any one of these templates, you're obviously getting the greatest designs there are either you can edit these with elementor but if you just start out with a blank page what is going to happen is elementor will just give you a blank canvas and you can work on that if you want to uh but for now let's just go ahead and choose some random template we like you can play around with this like if you want to add different boxes or you want to change the texts if you want to let's add the title new website and once you do that you can mess around with things as i told you and then what you're going to do is you're going to publish it now once you publish it what's going to happen is it's going to publish this website to your domain name and here we have a domain name and it says new website is now live we can view the page if we want to so if we click on view page we come here and we can see our very own website and this is how it looks now we're gonna go back to our main site our main dashboard for our wordpress now we know that we have a page in our pages now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna add posts because obviously Elementor will only create the page and the widgets the posts we'll have to add ourselves so we're just gonna go on posts and click on add new posts now we're just gonna wait for this to load up and once it loads up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a post and from there on out it's all Elementor's job because over here let's say new let's add new post Hey, this is a new post and then I'm just gonna go ahead and publish that what that's gonna do is it's gonna publish this post to the page I just created so we can also go ahead and click on view post and this is how our post is gonna look like so that's perfect that's great and that's what I want now once you have a post and you have pages you can add media to your posts if you want to it's totally on you but I just don't want that right now. So we have pages and we have posts. Now what we're gonna do is in our plugins, we're gonna see Elementor right here. And we're just gonna click on Elementor. We're gonna link it to the pages we have. And from there on out, you're gonna start editing your, your pages. And yeah, from there on out, there's your open canvas. You can mess around and create the most creative website you can, open to your imagination. So yeah, basically that's how easy it is to edit your websites on WordPress using Elementor. And it's totally for free. All you need is an upgraded plan for your WordPress. So yeah, that's the basic gist of it. If you want to ask me any question or queries related to the video, please let me know down in the comments and I'll get straight back to you. And uh, apart from that, if you have uh, any more questions or if you want me to make more videos like this related to WordPress and tutorials, please let me know that as well and I will make more videos for you. Uh, but yeah, until then, like the video and subscribe to the channel because that helps me out a lot and share this video around with anyone in need. Comment down a nice comment if you like the video. And yeah, until then, I'm going to see you all next time. I hope you all keep having a great day. Uh, that was all from me. And I'll see you. Goodbye.